70 days ago, 15 people moved into the Big Brother house, and now only four remain. Gabby, Mikelin, Ryan, and TJ. They have worked together to make it this far, but they have several overlapping Final Two deals. Tonight, their bonds will be tested as two of them get evicted, and one of them is crowned the winner of Big Brother 16. By a vote of two to zero, Desh, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. Thank you for playing. <laughs> All right, everyone but Gabby, go to under the carport for the HOH competition. This is the final four. So this round we go straight to decisions um, because the nominations don't matter. It's all about veto this round. Okay, so HOH is basically immunity. Okay, so you three will be competing for HOH. This is how it works. Your hands can only touch the painted parts of your sticks. You have to transport your 12 bricks to the sawhorse by you. Okay, they've been measured out. They are even. Okay, so there are, let's talk about some legalities. Um, you cannot balance it on top like this. It's very difficult to get it there in the first place, but people have tried. Just don't do it. As long as it is between, as long as the brick is between, this is legal, or this would be legal. Okay. Got it. So just have both sticks have to be touching it the same on way. The opposite side. Okay. Does it have to yep. be one at a time? Um. No. Okay. It doesn't have to be one at a time. So whoever is the first to get their whole pile. Onto the sawhorse. I don't paint. I'm sorry. If, I'll, I'll if the brick hits the ground, you have to bring it back to the table. You are allowed to use your hands to pick it up from the ground. Okay. In three, two, one, begin. Ryan is the first with the brick. When drops again. Ryan thinks he has it. So Ryan, you win on four head of household. Why won't picking up two like work? Like that's that's strange. I don't know. Yeah. Like it's like even no matter. All right, final four. We are going straight into nominations because only the veto matters. Ryan, you were you became HOH, so please nominate two players for eviction. Oh God. All right, so I guess uh, we succeeded as an alliance this whole time. You know, for Final Four, that's what our goal was. Um, and I really hate to do this, but I have to bring TJ with me to, to the Final Two. See you guys. 
So we're so we're right. on the block. You're on the block. You're not picking to bring the final two. Don't yeah. get any of them. Wait, oh, that's what. It, okay, no, yeah. So yeah. we are up for like uh, eviction. eviction and the yeah. veto. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So Gabby and Michael, you have been nominated. All Please right. go to the nomination chairs. No, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, this game is called Monorail. So you and one competitor will be competing um, at, while trying to form a train track. The person who completes the track wins. So you have to try to place down tiles in a way that forces the other person to set you up to finish. Is there like a max amount of tiles that you can play? Yes, I'm getting that. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay. So first thing to note, each tile has a front and a back. Oh. So all, to, all of these tiles are all the tiles you get, and um, you can do a curve or a straight line. Okay? Um, there are a few rules. Um, you can place up to three, okay? And you have to place one when making a move. Okay. Um, when you place three, you must place them in a straight line. Like, this is legal. Okay. Oh, yeah, I kind of zoned out there. Can you repeat? Whenever you place them down, you have to place the tiles in a straight line. Not necessarily the tracks, but the tiles. Okay. And so whoever completes the track is the winner. Also, since these are the only tracks, keep in mind if it becomes impossible. Because you can use your turn to claim that it's impossible, and then the other person has to try to complete the track with the remaining tiles. And if, they, if they don't, then they lose. If they succeed, then the person who called impossible fails. What's the finish, <laughs> like the finish point? Like Whenever it gets connected. This, okay, okay. Christian and I will do a quick practice game so you get an idea. Okay, okay cool. Praise God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, just show the rules. Okay. Oh, so you don't, you don't have to pick two. You can get up to three. Up to, okay. All right, and so I would win. Okay. Gotcha. Mm. Okay. Got it. But, so you don't have to use everything. But it's, it's just completely no. legal okay. to do this. Yes, but you can call impossible, and then... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. Can I just go whenever? Yes. Okay. I can't go on that side, can I? Yes, you can. I'm going to. Okay. Can we move existing tiles? No. Okay, Ryan, can you attempt to finish this? So technically one should fit right here, right? Yes. Yeah. So. All right, okay. so Ryan completes it and Gabby, you are out of the challenge. So TJ and my friend, you will go next. You can't do that. Oh my gosh, you're right. Haha, <laughs> thanks. TJ calls impossible, Mike Lynn can complete it. Mike Lynn completes it, and TJ, you are the challenge. So it is between Mike Lynn and Ryan. So this is for the final power of veto. Ryan versus Mike Lynn. Okay. After W. Mm -hmm.
<coughs> I can only put two down, right? Up to three. Oh, up to three. Okay. Just this. Okay. And then that. Okay, Michael. Impossible. All right, Ryan, can you complete it? All right, so it is declared impossible, and Michaelin wins the final power of veto. Yeah, I screwed up. I won the, the challenge to become the head of household, and then I, for some reason, thought that I was choosing the final two. I don't know why I thought that, and I even said it out loud, like an idiot, and embarrassed myself, and I had to turn my and my back and stab like what feels like my best friend in this game and that was Michaelin but the only reason I did that to you Michaelin was because from the start I had a final two deal with TJ and it was on my dream to see that through and that was by far the hardest thing I had to do in this game was to put you and Gabby up me and Gabby it's more just like it's nothing you know nothing personal she's gunning after me I'm going after her you guys are talking right now, and I'm pretty sure you're taking Gabby into the final three, and we're all going to compete in a challenge, and one of y'all is probably going to win that challenge, and I'm going to be the last member of the jury. So this is my prediction. I would hope it doesn't come true. And, yeah, it was a good game. Um, at least our final four alliance made it to the end. So. All right, y'all. So it is time for the final four veto ceremony and prediction. Okay, so Michael, what have you decided to do with the veto? I've decided to veto myself. All right, so Michael, you are off the box. That means TJ, you are nominated for eviction as the only option. So, because Ryan is HOH, Michael is the only person who can vote in this eviction. Um, so, before Michael casts her sole vote to evict face to face, I'll give you each a chance to talk to her in the HOH room and make one last plea to her in private. Okay? So, um, Gabby. Okay, I'm still down for. Girl power until the end. I'm still down for girl power only because if TJ's up there, I'm gonna lose. And you're probably gonna lose, and Ryan's definitely gonna lose. Exactly. So I feel we like. We have a better chance against Ryan than anybody else. Yeah, we have a better chance against Ryan. Ryan. And either of us, I would be fine seeing win. So I really mm -hmm. think, yeah, and TJ proposed to me a final two. And I just said, let's talk more on that, and never gave an answer. He proposed to me a final two, and I was like, shady. I think that he's been doing that all game. Um, yeah, or at least for the last little I'm bit. I'm pretty sure he had a final two with Brian, too. Yeah. Yeah. But, <coughs> that's, I mean, like, that's fine. That's just how you play the game. But, yeah. I think that, yeah, at this point, if we gang up on Brian, I think that either way, like, one of us is going to happen. I think it's fine. Yeah, and I'm okay. Yeah, I think Ryan's made enough waves that if he's in the final two with one of us, then we'll probably win. But if it's the two of us, then it'd be a really cool toss up. Yes. And it's exactly. all my freaking power. So, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm done with that. Same. Cool. cool. This is about to be an awkward ass conversation. Can't wait. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want even like what are you thinking? There's only two people, so I mean, I don't know. Are we staying true to the thing we said upstairs? Cause that would be ace and shock everyone, because no one knows we did that. Period. Yeah. True. 
That was super early on too. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you're gonna evict me, tell me. Like I kind of want to know. Okay. Here's where I'm at. I'm nervous. Obviously, Ryan's like safe. He's gonna go right. to the. Because after this, there's only three of us, right? Yeah, she's going to be in the final three, and I'm fine with him there because I feel like he made enough waves that whoever ends up in the top two is either going to pick the one that didn't make enough waves, and it'll be like a cool toss-up. It's just going to be like, who the hell is like more, basically? But if he's in that final two, then people are going to vote the other person. Yeah. I think because he made enough waves. And so you and Gabby make me nervous because everyone likes y'all. So I'm like... I mean... Oh. <laughs> I mean, he said... <laughs> I don't know. No, like, I don't, I don't know. I, I really, I really do think, and that would be, yeah. Cause, so, because if, because if, if it happens, nobody knows about I'm going to either. Yeah. Well, and you just said you want to talk about that more. I did. After so the veto, and this is more. after the veto. This is after the veto. So after my second veto. Um, yeah. Real bad. Yeah. Oh. Um. Yeah. I think. I know what I'm gonna do, and I don't want to blindside you. So I think it's gonna be you, but I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna like think with myself, and that could change. Can you pray about it? I will pray about it. Okay. Take the wheel. Please, like, like CTK, like Jesus. But CTK, <laughs> like, please. You pulled the Jesus card on me. My dad's a DK. I'm gonna pull the Jesus card. I mean. All right, it is time for the final four eviction. Gabby and TJ, you are the final nominees. Mike Lynn, you are the sole vote to evict. So please stand and cast your deciding vote. Um, this vote was obviously really hard because we had a four alliance coming into this. And we said we were going to get ourselves to the four, and that was about as far as alliances went. So um, I just want to congratulate you two for like as far as you came because it was really awesome. I feel like my best shot, if I end up being able to graciously be in the top two, um, is not going to be against TJ. So I vote to evict TJ. Alright, TJ, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. <laughs> okay, final three. Meet me below the carpet for the next. I feel like he had final twos with everyone. Yeah. But like I was so. He proposed a final two with me, but I just said let's talk more on that, and we never did. Yeah. Well, see, he proposed a final four with me, because that was at like the very beginning, mm -hmm. and I was like, shit, I'm down for final four. Like these are all the people that we've been working with anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then he like after that he was like, we should be the final two, and I was like, mm, I just okay, feel like whatever. he didn't really do that much, and he was never H O H. And we've all been HOH, and I just felt like that was my best opportunity. Because, you know, people be mad at HOHs because somebody has to go. So, yeah. yeah. I just feel like it was too. You can be neutral to a point, but then you have to make a move. At some point, you have to, yeah. I just, like, blindly decided at the very beginning of the game that, like, I want to, like, be, like, super, like, final two with this guy. And we, I tried to, so hard to make. Because he knows the game so well. That's yeah. why I stayed. I tried secret. like so hard to make that happen. Uh, yeah. But I couldn't. All right. Alrighty. So this is the first part of the final three H O H competition. Mm -hmm. It's just a simple two-part accuracy. You three will go behind this brick line and hit one of the blocks down. Oh, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. This brick line. This brick line. Um, At the same time. Yeah. 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 And then after you're done with this, you'll choose your um, pyramid to knock down. All four need to be knocked down. And after you do that, whoever does that first wins. Where do we Very stand for the pyramid? Uh, behind these two posts. Okay. And you were just using that the whole time? Yes. Okay, cool. All right, whenever you're ready, in three, two, one, begin. All right, Ryan moves ahead. Ryan has one more break. Alright, 
Ryan's hit the ground first. Really? Yeah. So sad. Thomas, can you help me? Oh, yeah. oh. Okay, so Ryan won part one. Very close. For part two, you have to uh, build a cube from these Tetris like pieces. It'll be three by three by three. To give you a hint, use this as a corner. Okay? Thanks. Thank you. And go. face off in the final part of the final HOH competition. Okay? The answer will be a number or a house guest name. Okay? But whenever I ask the question, you must run and hit my hand. Once I acknowledge you, you can answer the question. If you get it wrong, you are allowed to go back to your chair and then come back and hit my hand. Keep guessing until someone gets it right. Got it. Okay? Um, do we have any questions? So it's going to be a number or a house guest name. Number one, how many unanimous votes were there? Five. No. Six. No. Four. Correct. Oh, damn. Ten. Five. 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 Next question, how many votes did Sarah receive to save when she went home? Four. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Who had the most total votes to evict throughout the day? Nah. No. No. You can guess again. If you yeah, 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 yeah. Fair. Correct. Point for my point. Next, next question. Mm -hmm. Who was the first person to win two competitions? Mitch. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> next question. How many times was Mac nominated? You just a step on me in the pool! Oh, I did Three times. Correct. I think oh, that, I think... <clears throat> just watch my hand next time. Just wait. Next question. How many competitions did Theron win? Three. No. Four. Correct. <sighs> Final question. Wait, is it 3-3? Three, three? It's 3-3. Three, three. That's what the score means. Okay, okay, I wasn't looking. So th this is working. Final question. <laughs> Sorry. How many competitions did James win? Three. Correct. <sighs> Alright, so Ryan, you are the final head of household. Let's go to the living room. Um, this is the final eviction. Ryan is the final HOH and will cast the last vote to evict either you, Gabby, or you, Michael. But before he passes his vote to admit, you have one last chance to plead your case to him right here. Gabby, your first. Like I said, like, we stuck together, we stuck it out, we knew that it was going to be like every man for himself. And um, I think like I've been pretty honest with you the entire time. I'm pretty much an open book when it comes to talking about everything with everybody. And, you know, I hope that you would take that into consideration when you're thinking about all this stuff. Yeah. Wait, my I echo that. And then also, um, you told me on multiple occasions, if I ever slit your throat or backstabbed you, you're going to be infinitely hurt. And I just want to throw it out there that I have never <laughs> done that. Backstabbed you or slit your throat, even though you just assaulted my chest. That's okay. Anyway, next. Um, yeah, so I haven't gone against, and you know, like we said, our lines went as far as it could. Um, I feel like I haven't gone against you at all. And that's my way. Well. The end. I know it's a hard decision, so yeah, yeah I respect like, so, what you have to do. Yeah. I've never gone against you except for the one time I had to go against you because I did. I, I wanted that final two with TJ so bad. Um, 
that I, I put you up here and like I, I felt so bad about that and honestly because of that and y'all both played an amazing game everyone played a really good game um, I choose to keep can I say I choose to keep say who you evict evict okay I choose to evict Gabby alright Gabby I'm sorry but you have been evicted All from right. the big brother house thank you for playing yeah yeah All right, so Michaelin and Ryan, you are the final two. Okay, like take your seats right here. The jury is going to grill you. First, I want to thank you all for a great day with your brother. I thoroughly enjoyed this game. Y'all really all came to play. I think everyone really brought something to the table, and this was a really fun game for me to watch. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. So now we're going to go into the final round. Here's how it's going to work. The final two will each get one chance to, will each get a chance to <laughs> tell you about their game and why you should go for them to win, their opening pitch. You will each get a chance to address them, ask a question, grill them, whatever you wish. And then we will return to the final two where they can give their closing statements, all of you good, <clears throat> and then we end this bitch. Can <laughs> <laughs> we go live in front of them? Huh? We like tell them like who we go for? No, we have a little like jury for them. Okay, so um, we'll start with Ryan. Okay, so I came into this game uh, a newcomer, uh, pretty nervous. I, I didn't think there would be like a bunch of other newcomers. I thought it would be like a bunch of people who knew each other already. And so like the, the first thing like I wanted to do was just make sure like I talked to like a, at least like the majority of the people in the room or in the house uh, to just at least build a little rapport with each person. Um, so starting off with that, I was able to kind of open up different relationships and build alliances kind of quick in the game. Um, and then people started coming to me uh, that weren't necessarily in my alliances, like Mitch. Um, and I had to make decisions to go, you know, against him and kind of head to head against him. Um, I was kind of working with. James along the way until, you know, um, you're probably not inclined to vote for me since um, I, you know, I'm partly responsible for like why you left, but like it's totally like I had to do it, I feel like. Um, like Baron said, if you're sitting here, you know, you really were like pulling like the majority of the strings from like all the groups. Um, it really is kind of hard to like think of everything that happened today because well, a lot happened, um, but I would be willing to answer any sort of questions you guys have. Right. Yeah, so thank you all for playing today. It was a great day, and I'm really glad that I met all of y'all. Um, I feel like um, I played an honest game, and when you watch the tapes, I think you're going to see that. Yeah, I kept my promises, and... Anytime that we were having like a majority vote or like things were happening like that, like I felt like I was in the know and I was trying to like help us get to a place. And anytime I knew someone was going to be safe or had the power to save people, that I did because I wanted to see certain people keep going um, until obviously then I couldn't because you know we're here. But yeah, I respect what you all have to pick because it's hard. But yeah, I think we played a great game and I'm really proud of everyone sitting here. So. Alright, so now that we have heard from our two finalists, we will all give a chance to address them. Yeah, for sure. I'll start. Yeah. What was your biggest mistake you feel like? Besides betraying me. <laughs> um, my biggest mistake... <laughs> my biggest mistake is kind of like my blind trust, I feel. Um, and betraying you. <laughs> Um, no, because like honestly, like I wouldn't be sitting here obviously without Aaron, you know, giving me the veto, um, and you know I owe him for that, and I do feel like I repaid you, like like in a way for that by working with you after, um, but whenever the votes were, what did it come down to? Like we all, the majority of the house was going a certain five to one. Right, that's, that's an example. Yeah, yeah. So, like, everyone wanted to get James out, right? And over Isaac, and, you know, I, I just didn't see it that way. 
with you know my core lines. I didn't want to go against what my strategy was, and that was to make it however I can, you know, here to adapt. Basically, it is kind of hard to draw back on like all the decisions, like everything that happened today. It really is. Like I couldn't tell you like half of the things that happened. All I can tell you is that like I did the best I could in each individual situation to stay alive. And that's all I have to say. Yeah. You want me to answer the same question? Oh, if you want. Is it answer the same? Uh, I think my biggest, is it mistake or weakness? Mistake. I think my biggest mistake was, um, yeah, I didn't make a lot of deals, which could be an advantage and could not be an advantage. Like I made like R4 at the beginning and then besides just kind of like answering honestly how I was going to vote, I didn't like go around and like make deals, which I feel like could have maybe helped out, like might have been a mistake because I kept hearing about other people making deals. So that was a strategy move that I didn't really play, so that could have been a mistake for sure. Right. <laughs> this seems petty, but I think it might determine who I vote for because I'm right on the fence. When that vote happened, and y'all switched me. I, I was convinced Kaylee was trying to kick me out of the house. Which one of y'all two do you think was more responsible for switching the vote? Wait, what, what it was it talking about? It was... He's asking about when he... The house switched like... When, yeah, when James thought that he was going to get out. And then I Oh, and then I didn't know. Okay, yeah. sorry. So we, we, we had the conversation one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. out there, and I told you that I was sending Isaac home, and that whenever you watched the tapes, you would see that that was true and then we had that whole conversation as a group right after that and we basically relayed the same thing and I said you know where I stand and then we followed through on that I'm sorry Isaac it's fine bro hey, it's, it's honestly like the best. and then I made a deal with Isaac earlier on in the game that's how I got that advantage Isaac actually made a really good deal mm -hmm. with me and that's how he was able to further himself in the game um, by you know leveraging that advantage that you found, mm -hmm. I don't know how you y'all kept finding advantages, but yeah. Close. that was it. You know, Close. it doesn't even matter in retrospect, honestly, because I used the advantage and I still lost. So, but like, yeah, that was another you know big move right there. Same question. Yeah, I just wanted to help me out the most. Yeah. So uh, we were out saying. there, and you asked to talk to me first yeah. when we were out there doing yeah. a one on one. And I said that, I'm sorry that you're right here and I have to say this, but I said Isaac sketches me out just because I don't know where he stands and that I just wanted to talk to Gabby to extra confirm. And then when we had our four, I also confirmed then. So. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry we're all in the same lines. <laughs> same answer. Yeah. I think, I don't know the best way to word this. Like, <laughs> how do you think your game that you played is better than the other person's? Tea. How many issues did you have? Same. Oh, wait. No. I don't even know. No, I think I won two videos. I won one HOH and. Okay, Just so two. we won the same amount of challenges, so that's off the table. Um, I won two videos. You won one, one video. Yeah, two then I won the chip thing. She won the chip thing. Like, I'm not talking about, like, stats. I just but mean, like... I'm, I don't know. I feel Do like, you think that you played a better game than the other person, basically? I feel like I did what I had to do in each given moment to get here, and there may have been a lot of luck played into that, and I totally acknowledge that. Um, every decision I made was for myself, and, like, ultimately it was, like, a selfish, selfish decision. Um, and I think that is something, you know, to look at, like, you can't be too selfless in this game, right, in order to, to win, but at the same time, you know, you can't be, like, overly selfish. I feel like I found, like, a kind of, like, a, a good balance. Yeah, um, I feel like I was a little bit opposite in that I made decisions that I thought would be best for my game, but I also made decisions based on how to get my alliance the furthest that they could be. Um, and then I helped out other people along the way, like Desh and I didn't have an immediate alliance, but like I saved you from being evicted um, because I wanted to keep working with you and I wanted to keep seeing you around. And so I feel like 
maybe if you're going with you play more of a selfish game. I don't think I'll play a selfless game because I don't think either of us get here by being selfless. No, neither of us are Mother Teresa. But I think that I, I played a less selfish game because I kept saying from the beginning, like, out of, like, obviously as the numbers kept dwindling, there were less and less people that you want to see win. But I was pretty game on having, like, certain people win. So, and I was okay with that. I mean, we're both sitting here. I was also trying to get my lines further in the game, right? Like, it wasn't that, like, I'm just, like, trying to play for myself. Like, no, like, I'm trying to play for myself by getting my lines further in the game. And that's exactly what happened. The absolute core four that we had, or amongst us, was, like, the, the final four. And, you know, so we tried it. We did the same thing, basically. Yeah. It's really hard to compare my game with theirs, because um, I feel like we were just kind of side by side the entire time. Uh, why should the person <coughs> next to you win over yourself? Yeah, I think uh, if Ryan deserves to win over me, then it's because he played gameplay maybe a little more than I did, and he was, um, he ended up being in positions where he could make bigger moves, and so he made bigger moves, and I think that strategy-wise for him, the bigger moves were going to keep propelling him in the game. So that is great gameplay to get yourself as far as you can. And I feel like he orchestrated a lot of things. So he was never not in the know. And that's, that's like, a, I think, you know, he was a big brother. So being in the know is everything. I echo that back towards her. She was always in the know and she never sat in these chairs. And, like, you put me here until the very end. <laughs> she was a pro. No, like she, no, she was never on anyone's radar. I feel like heavily, you know, mm -hmm. ever. Yeah, under the radar and in the know. Um, and if there's any reason for her to win over me, it's probably that because um, she's she's just slick. But like, it, it doesn't seem like she's like slick, you know. But she is. Come back to me too. This movie's about me, um, so why should I vote for you? Like, you know, I've heard from you, Macklin. Michael, we're still here. <laughs> 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 That's okay. That's okay. That's all right. I'm still a little upset about the last round, but that's fine. I want to hear from um, you because I am a little upset with uh, Michael. Well, I. So you were put up here like, quite a lot. And every single time you were put up here, I never did vote yes. for you. And it was until the last time, whenever it came down to that core alliance that I was trying to keep strong with. Because if I broke my alliance in order to save you, who I wasn't like super, super aligned with, then there's no way that they're gonna like vote for me if I even make it here. But every single time you were sitting up here, you know, there was always the other person who had my vote. So Can I answer? Yeah, so Okay, awesome. Um, every time you came and saw me in there, I was super transparent with you and I was like, you're fine. Um, anytime you were up here, I also did not vote for you. You'll see that in the tapes. Mm -hmm. And um, I had the most chips in the little chip dealio thing. And so I had the most power in who to choose. And I put all my chips on you to save you. And you'll see like in my interviews and stuff that I would say like we have an alliance and not we but like our like four alliance and I was like but I'm really cool with Dash and I really like him and I want to keep working with him. So before the jurors vote, can you two have any final words? No. I think it's all been said. Yeah I think it's all been said but I just want to thank y'all so much for listening and I appreciate the questions that you asked and not just walking into a vote blind. I appreciate that you want to like actually like strategize into who you want to win and I respect that. And if it's Ryan, like I'm happy. And if it's me, I'm obviously ecstatic. But yeah, I just want to thank y'all for playing the game. And hey, so first off, I would just like to congratulate Mike Lynn on winning Big Brother uh, season 16. Shut up, we don't know that yet. We, really we know, know, we know. Uh, I definitely feel... Alright, so this is what's going to happen. Theron is going to vote for her. Desh... Oh, I really don't think Theron's going to ...is going to vote for you. Um, I think I probably have Desh. James is going to vote for you. I don't see that at all. Uh, we have the same Gabby. answer. Gabby. Women power. <laughs> <laughs> all I want... I'll, I will just be happy if TJ votes for me. Yeah. That's all I care. That's all I earned. 
this whole time? Is I just, just want to say that we dabbed up in here for final two. Not saying final two, right, but like right. basically final two. And here we freaking are, and we both walked in knowing no one and being newbies, and we were both like, shit, we're gonna be on first. And yeah. here we freaking are. So I'm really excited. If it's you, I'm happy. Honestly, I'm glad I'm not sitting here and like just next to any old person. I'm glad it's with my with, you know, someone who I who has skirts on the name. Yeah. You were like the first person I talked to and I sat down on the couch and like we said like hello and I'm like, all right. We said hello to each other. Boom, we're gonna be fine. And then we both <laughs> like the challenge. That was the key. Yo, okay, so in that last the phase one of the final challenge, I thought I was so far ahead of you. And then I tomahawked that. And then you was. fucking tomahawked that shit. I can't wait to see that. That better be in slow mo. Yeah. But yeah, I'm really excited to see what they're gonna do. But neither of us wanted to go home first, and we wanted to make it to jury, and then hoped for final four. And yeah. we did exactly that. So I'm proud of us. Yeah. If I get one vote tonight for me to win, that's a win. I feel like any votes is an affirmation. That's it even yeah, matter at yeah, this like, point. I would be like, wow, what, thank you. One Gabby, person. women power. And because you might have like TJ and yeah. Isaac, and you don't I think know. that I think our like final jury was like I don't know I feel like all my answers were like really lame I'm not used to like we had the same answers I, we're on the same alliance I'm like, we can't I don't yeah like it's like I don't I feel like I did so much today that I just forgot like and any yeah. any time like someone wanted to like ask me a question about like what I did like I was just like everything's like, a blur everything's a blur and my mind just blanked and like I just like like babbled like rambled out like dumb shit I'm just like not good at like making a case for myself, especially making a case against someone that I like. It's like I don't want to do that. Whenever TJ asked the question of why the other person should win, I was so happy that I could like just like kind of like lift you up a little yeah. bit because I did not want to like keep tearing keep you down. Bashing, my yeah. my heart Thank is you, TJ, like for not... asking good questions. Yeah. So like if I ever like this just proves that like I'm not ready to go on like a real reality show. Because I this would die. is like, sharks would eat me. Like I'm, I'm just, I'm breaking out just from like one day of this shit. Like, yes, my hair is greasy. It's fine. Yeah. Woo. Well, I'm excited to see what they do and. Yep. We made it. We made it. All right. Once again, thank you guys for a great game with Big Brother. Um, please give our film crew a hand. Thank yes. You. You all know this is a very difficult game, and the fact that you made it this far says, says it all. So good luck to you both, even though I know what happens. <laughs> all right, Gabby voted for <coughs> Mike Lynn to win. That's one vote Mike Lynn. It's a jury of seven, so you need four votes to win. Okay. Yeah, we can talk about her. <laughs> TJ voted for <clears throat> Ryan to win. Boo. Dash <laughs> <laughs> voted for Mike Lynn to win. So two votes for Mike Lynn, one vote Ryan. Next vote. James voted for Ryan to win. Yeah. Two votes for Ryan. Two votes for Ryan. <laughs> Farron voted for Mike Lynn to win. So two votes for Ryan. Two votes for Ryan. Kaylee voted for Ryan to win. One vote left. Isaac voted for the winner of Big Brother 16, Ryan. It's okay. <laughs>